Alright, so after Long Beach Grand Prix and after dinner, I decided to come over to this uh, nice car meet. It's around 9 o'clock, so it says that it starts from 8 ends at 9, so that's why a lot of people have already rolled out. Alright, so starting off, we already have this wide body GTR. Alright, so we have a GT3 right here and a W205 C63S. We got two R8s right over here, and also this GT4. And then right here, we got an SF250 GTO. Hard right next to this Lamborghini STO. Oh my god, I don't know what just happened. I guess this became a freaking burnout section, I guess. What the heck? And then I guess right here, it's like a rev battle section, I guess. Like, section. Different cars in this section have been revving for, I don't know, so long, not gonna lie. And then right here, we also have this turquoise Bentayga that just rolled out. So yeah, it's getting closer to 10 right now, so a lot of people have already rolled out. So that's pretty much it. And let's move on to the next event. A few moments later. Alright, so today is another day and here I'm at Porsche uh, Experience Center here in LA. And look at this entire line of cars. Like, holy crap, it goes all the way back there. Like this line, this entrance line is like endless. Holy crap. So uh, let's head on inside and let's see what they got. All right, so before heading up inside, we have this really nice Miata right here. And we have this SL55. Looks really, really nice at the back as well. All right, so now coming inside, as the lot is being filled up slowly, let's check out the Porsche Experience Center building. Let's see what they have inside. Wow, there's already an amazing display of GTP and GT3R cars. Holy crap. All right, so starting off with this GT3 car over here, I'm pretty sure all of these cars present today were raced yesterday at Long Beach. And honestly, I really like this livery. It looks pretty nice in the green. Look at its huge carbon fiber wing. And then at the back, it's so cool to see. It's all fully carbon fiber rear bumper and carbon fiber diffuser. All right, and moving on right over here, we have this GTP Penske car. Holy crap, it's the Porsche 963. And wow, this looks really, really nice to see up, up close in person. So though this GTP car didn't race yesterday at uh, Long Beach, but I'm pretty sure it raced in a couple race endurance races um, a couple years ago. And although like these GTP cars share like similar design languages, but wow, check this out. I really, really love the rear and this Porsche logo that I assume it will glow during nighttime or during braking. So this specific one, as you can see at the rear wing, I think it's placed a little bit smaller and it's not lifted as high, so it creates more, I don't know, it creates less downforce, but probably higher top speed. And moving on, we have another GTP car. And this is the one that we saw yesterday. And oh, wow, with the door open, we get like a sneak peek inside. This is really, really cool. Now getting up close, in the right side, wow, you can see all the electronics and all the carbon fiber parts and you know, all the safety parts are all jam-packed in this monocoque. And as mentioned yesterday, I really, really love this black on bronze livery. It really reminds me of like this, the re uh, Rich Energy um, F1 livery back in the day, like back in 2018 or something. So apparently this is a collaboration of Overwatch 2 and Porsche. That's such a weird but interesting collaboration. Wow, this front, guns actually glow as well which is really nice and apparently it uses like some of Porsche's parts so as you can see I think they use the Porsche brake lights right over here and also Porsche uh, suspensions and like other parts really nice oh yeah right over here Porsche brake lights wow getting a closer look yeah it also uses the Porsche headlights right over here which is kind of cool and uh, what's kind of interesting is that probably Diva in person is like pretty small because this is a really, really tight space, not gonna lie. Moving on from Diva Mech, we have this yellow Porsche 963 again, a uh, GTP car. So I'm pretty sure this is the one that was also raced yesterday at Long Beach. It's really nice to see this one up in person. So yeah, same overall design, but I can see there's definitely like small changes in terms of aero, especially in the front. Look at this compared to that. 
the arrow is like a little bit different and same for the aerodynamics at the back wing as well so i also noticed they also have different side pod design like as you can see there's a huge inlet in this design right over here and that one has a slightly steeper inlet i don't know it's kind of hard to explain in words after this gtp car we also have this gt3 right over here i'm pretty sure this one raced yesterday as well i really love this uh red red accents on black pretty cool so looking at the back i think there is a difference between the gt3 cup and the gt3 r that was over there i think the most noticeable design is the diffuser and the um i don't know the rear wing like the smaller rear wing and then right here we also have the rsr the 911 rsr which raced in a gtlm which is wow really really nice looking at the front i really like the front design looks so aggressive holy crap we kind of get a sneak peek from these vents over here but wow check this out it's like entirely gutted wait why is it not focusing but yeah it's entirely gutted all for weight savings and look at this row cage design I'm not sure if you can see it from here or probably not but as you can see it's like totally gutted out wow all right so aside from this showroom area this porsche experience center has lots more to offer so as you can see there's their own individual test track right over here which is really nice and they also have their workshop right over here so let's check out the workshop first all right, so starting right over here, we have this Porsche engine. I'm not exactly sure if this is just a 911 or I'm not sure which specific model's engine, but wow, check this out. It's really, really nice seeing it close up in person, especially like fully exposed. Wow, you can see how jam-packed this flat six is. Like, wow, you can see like all the components all together, like very close together. Like this is the valves, this is the alternator, and then this is the exhaust. And then the flat six engine is like stuck right down here. We also get a really small sneak peek of the workshop right over here. As you can see, there's like all the parts that are right here. Pretty interesting. All right, and moving on, look at all of these old parts. Apparently these are the parts of the 24 hour of the Tona winner's engine. Starter restoration and rebuild. So apparently it's this one, it's this car's engine. So basically they just took apart this flat six engine like literally taking it apart look at all the, the these are where the rods and pistons should be in where did rod bearings go so i think we have this oil pan we have like these old rings we have these screws and gaskets i don't know wow pretty pretty interesting to see not gonna lie all right so moving on we also have this porsche 963 hybrid battery right here wow that's pretty interesting to see so as you guys know these uh gtp cars have a hybrid system and they start uh they leave the pits using the uh electric system and then when they go on track of course they switch to analog which is their motor um so it's really cool to see this battery just right over here that's kind of a huge battery not gonna lie well and i think they got some autograph signing things here i assume these these guys are the drivers from yesterday at long beach I'm not sure if it's the GTP cars or the GT3, but wow, pretty nice. All right, so right over here, we have the GTP car front bumper being repaired. It's this yellow one that was over there. And then we also have a 911 right over here that's getting repaired on. Pretty cool. I think that's a GT3 car, actually, because of the fully carbon fiber chassis. All right, and of course, we have this 911 right over here on jacks as well. I assume they're trying to fix the front brakes or tires or wheels i'm not exactly sure but pretty cool all right so moving on from the workshop right over here we have the porsche test track wow this is pretty cool we already have like this 911 um the car right over here with the fuel tank and uh i don't know pretty cool not gonna lie there's also a gt3 rs which it's actually two gt3 rs's right over here wow we also have this gtp car parked right over here and then right over here we also have like merch and then like some coffee that you can get over there well wow, pretty nice all right so right outside the cafe we can actually see get a closer look of the track layout which is pretty cool All right, so I assume this is where they do their top speed testing, maybe. And then we have this hydroplaning water water skid pad to test like hydroplaning and stuff. 
and we have like a slope over there as well. Coming back in, I really love the Speedster Cafe and also I really also love the wall designs they have over here as well. All right, so apparently they also have a restaurant upstairs called the 917 Restaurant. But before going up there to check it out, check out these track layout decorations. They're so nice. Dakota Road, Atlanta. And then this is the Porsche Test Track layout. So as you can see, this was the, uh, the straightaways and then this is like the skid pads and stuff. We also have the Le Mans, Long Beach, Laguna Seca. Right over here, we get the entire selection of colors for Porsche. So if you want to get your own Porsche, these are most of the color selections that you can choose from. Interesting enough, you can actually take it out to see for yourself. Wow, and coming upstairs to the 917 restaurant, you can see the entire view of the track layout. And as you can see, you can see a better view of the straightaways, the cars that are on track, on their testing, and the skid pad right over here. This 911 Turbo just done its skid pad test. Wow, that was amazing. And of course you can see the incline challenge and the skid pad. All right, so right here, I think they're revealing the new 911. Wow, so the new livery, this is a safety car new livery. It looks pretty nice. It's like the topography or like the track layout. All right, so right now I'm heading into the simulator lab. So check this out right now. I'm in the sim lab and uh, I'll be doing one of the laps right over here. All right, so I guess I'm in the GT3, a GT4 club sport. And uh, here we go. A few moments later. So my time, my fastest time was 129.52. I mean, I, I could have improved for sure. I can probably get into the 128, but that will only get up to probably like six or seven at best. So hey, nice try, not gonna lie. Pretty cool setup, not gonna lie. Honestly, I kind of really like this Fanatec setup. I mean, the sports seats really helped a lot. I mean, you do sit a bit lower than usually like my G29 that I use at home, but Pretty cool nonetheless. All right, so after the sim racing, check this out. Wow, this GTP car getting taken apart. And the uh, front wing is right over here. Now I think the rear wing is like somewhere over here as well. All right, so since we spent a little bit too much time in the Porsche Experience Center, because honestly, it's just so fun. Um, so right now it's already close to 11.30 and that's why there's so many cars that have already rolled out as you can see. But even so, we still have a couple of really nice cars right over here. So starting off, we have these two Macans right here. So these aren't your normal Macans. They're actually safety cars for the Long Beach Grand Prix. What's kind of interesting is that they don't have the light bar on top of the roof. I'm not sure if they just take it out or they just don't have it to begin with. All right, so moving on right over here, we have this Subaru Rally Wagon. It's about to leave. We also have this 944 park next to this 911. We also have this GT3 4.0 right over here as well. We also got this purple GT3 RS. Wow, I really like the color, especially when it's basking under the sun. And right here, we also have a 996 Turbo. We got our only JDM in a lot, this Acura Legend. I've actually never seen this before. Is this like an import or something? Looking at the front, it's like totally slammed and looks looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. It reminds me of like the Chaser or something like that. All right, of course, we have a Boxer right over here, 911. GT4. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Damn it!